Welcome or welcome back to Stash. We're looking at some key Marvel comics under $50, which I think are worth to pick up. But before we get into it, be sure to like and subscribe for more content on the way. With that being said, let's get straight into the list. And so the first one for today is Dark Hawk issue one, the first appearance and origin of Dark Hawk. Now this book ranges from like 10 bucks to maybe even 50, depending on where you, uh, depending on where you live. Mine's a pretty high grade. I got it for around $20. Can't complain. Very happy with it. This is one that I've wanted for ages, so I'm actually quite happy to pick it up. And I've always felt like that this one could maybe go up, you know, in recent times of the MCU now expanding their cosmic side of things. I don't see why Darkhawk wouldn't get introduced into the MCU. I mean, especially because he was even mentioned in the Guardians of the Galaxy game, so we're starting to get that exposure ever so slightly. I also don't really want to be in that situation in like the next 10 years where I didn't pick the book up, and then it's tripled by, by in the price by that time. Plus, I even feel like Darkhawk sort of that cool, obscure 90s character that no one really knows, so it's definitely worth to pick up in my opinion. Next book is X-Force issue 2, the second appearance of Deadpool and the first appearance of Weapon X, Garrison Kane. Now surprisingly, this book is like quite literally $10, at a high grade even. I mean, for the second Deadpool, it's clearly worth it. I mean, I'm honestly not thinking about picking up just a bunch of copies of this one because why not for the price? I mean, I'm not really sure why the comic hasn't gone up in price, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, it's for a key like that, for a character like that, it's a great book to pick up for your collection. Next is Secret Wars issue 7, the first full appearance of Spider-Woman, Julia Carpenter, and the first battle of She-Hulk versus Titania. Now you can pick this book up for around $20 at a high grade. I did so myself uh, for roughly similar price as a newsstand copy as well. This is a great book to pick up, She-Hulk versus Titania. Uh, now that they're both in the MCU, I'm not going to talk about how they butchered both characters, but that is some of a factor towards why it's going to probably rise soon maybe. But also there's been a lot of rumors about the Madame Web film and if Julia Carpenter Spider-Woman would show up in the movie and if she does I feel like this is a book you'd want to get just before it goes too high and that's why I believe it's a great key to pick up. Next book is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 365. I personally count it as the first appearance of Spider-Man 2099 as it has a five page preview of the character and the book also celebrates the 30th anniversary of Spider-Man. You can find this book for still under 50 bucks. There are some sellers that are trying to get it more because as, as you probably know, the new uh, Spider-Verse movie came out and he is one of the main characters of the film. So I guess right now a lot of Miguel O'Hara books are quite hot and luckily I picked them up before the price rise. I actually had this one years ago. But I think as Sony and Marvel expand more on the Spider-Verse stuff, Miguel O'Hara keys are definitely ones that you'd want to have in your collections. I feel like that really explore his character later on. Next comic on the list is Spider-Man 2099 issue 1. I'm pretty sure most counted, even CGC counted as the second appearance of Miguel O'Hara Spider-Man and his origin as well. This is basically just a continuation of the previous comic that I just showed, The Amazing Spider-Man issue 365. Uh, so to follow suit with his first appearance, you gotta get his premiere issue. And his premiere issue is his origin issue, which just means it's a very affordable good key that might rise up soon considering the new popularity of the character. As you can see, I got the direct version of the book, uh, but I would highly recommend to get the new stand one if you can find it for a good price. The second last book for today is Venom Lethal Protector issue 4. It's the first appearance of Scream, the first cameo appearance of Agony, Lasher, Phage, and Riot. You know, as Venom 3 is in development, this is a book that you want to get in case they do explore more of the symbiotes. And for under $30, it's a really good affordable key, especially for Venom fans, as it has a lot to do with the symbiotes. I was lucky to pick up this newsstand copy for a pretty cheap price. And it's a key, in my opinion, that you should add to your collection, especially if you're a Venom fan. And then the last book for today is Venom Lethal Protector issue 2, the first team appearance of the jury and the first full appearance of General Oral Taylor. The reason why I think this is a good key to pick up for under $50, I mean this is even under $10, is because they are speculated, the jury sorry, is speculated to be in the next Venom film, and if they are, this book will probably rise up, so it's a good time to pick it up now while it's still cheap. And that's not even talking about the great iconic Mark Bagley cover art there. I mean you can't really go wrong with any sort of Mark Bagley book from the 90s. But that is it for today, I hope you guys enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already because here any support means so much. Those are some Marvel keys under $50 that I think are worth to pick up for your collection. Let me know if you have any of those comics down below, we can start a conversation. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.